Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, my name is I'm calling from I'll interview with regards to your job application. So are you ready? Yes. So could you confirm your name for me please? My name is Okay. So let's start the interview. Can you tell me something about yourself and why you want to become a care assistant in the first place? I have always loved helping people. When I was a child, my grandmother was ill and I visited her every day to help her to maintain an easy life. I took care of her for a long time and by doing so, I realized I want to work for making people's uh, lives better, which has encouraged me to apply for this care worker role. As I really want to help elderly people to maintain a satisfying lifestyle by fulfilling their needs. Okay, so why do you want to work in healthcare industry in particular? Well, the first reason is that working in healthcare would give me the chance to make a difference in other people's lives which I found quite fulfilling and rewarding. Plus, my passion to help others and willingness to be caring can be useful in healthcare industry and can help me to progress in my career. This is why I want to work in healthcare industry. Okay. So, how did you come to know about this care worker position? Uh, I come to know about this care worker position from a person who works with your care home. He informed me about this job opportunity which I was looking for. Then I visited the website of your organization and found detailed information and I believe with my skills and dedication I can be a good candidate for this job. So why have you chosen our organization to work for as a care assistant? I have chosen your organization because it has a positive reputation for providing great levels of care for its clients. Your organization clearly put care above everything else. I would be pleased working for your organization as a care assistant and with my dedication. I feel strongly I can perform my duties as the rules suggest. I will dedicate myself to work harder to look after your clients by providing the right level of care according to their needs. And what qualities and skills can you bring to the role? Uh, as a care home worker, I am willing to providing my patients with the best care possible. I, for the well-being of my patients, I will use my compassion on and understanding skills, being a good listener for communication. I am also extremely patient and resilient. Uh, which I can use effectively to deal with difficult situations. In addition, I am proficient in administering medications and uh, am well aware in safety guidelines. These are the skills I think I can use to serve my patients. Okay. And why do you believe care assistants are important for people to have? Sorry? Why do you believe care assistants are important for people to have? Care assistants uh, provide the support to people who are in medical need and unable to care completely for themselves. So care assistants are important to help such people to maintain as much of their normal and familiar lifestyles as possible. 
they provide important service for not only movement to movement needs but also in case of an emergency this is why it's it is important for such people to have care assistance to maintain their normal lifestyle okay so what do you think are your strengths well i think my strengths are that I am a problem solver and I have the ability to perform under pressure and maintain a positive attitude. I also have good communication skill and uh, I am an empathic and observant person. Besides, uh, I think of myself as a loyal and responsible person. So, can you tell me more about your ability to work under pressure? I believe I actually work better under pressure. It helped me to achieve many important things in life. And to be honest, I like being challenged. I believe uh, being stressed under pressure make the situation out. So I always try to stay focused and enjoy one work at a time. So how do you stay motivated in your work? Well, if I could only consider my passion and the intent. I have, uh, as a care worker, I think I will never be demotivated in my work. Also, I should develop a new skill to apply at work whenever possible, which will keep me focused in my career and I need to always practice thankfulness for the opportunity. I have these things will keep me motivated. Okay, so how would you respond to patients emergency? First priority would be to take quick action in the line with seriousness of the emergency situation at the same time. I would make sure the ambulance services are available and other members of staff are informed about the situation. Plus, I would to find what bothering them and I would also tell them we are here to help them so that they do not have any reasons to get panicked. What if a patient doesn't want you to come into their room? What would you do? Sorry, could you repeat the question please? What if a patient doesn't want you to come into their room? What would you do? Well, if I, a patient does not want me to come into their room, I would say to the client, I hear what you are saying. I will, I will come back and check on you in 20 minutes. I would then inform a nurse of the situation and ask their opinion before going back to my client. It is extremely important to me to show empathy to my clients and to allow them to maintain their dignity and make choices for themselves. However, I also have a duty to provide my clients with the care they need. This is why I need to respect their decision and make sure they are okay at the same time. Okay, so the next question is quite an important one. So how do you maintain a client's dignity and respect when providing personal care? To maintain a client's dignity and respect, I need to abide by the client privacy and dignity guidelines and respect client's autonomy, independence and privacy all the time when provide personal care. Moreover, I need to show empathy for their feelings and provide care that, that promotes their self-esteem. They should never feel bent for their personal situation. To do that, I need to encourage them to talk and share their needs with me by making them feel wanted. 
I must ensure that they know that they are being cared for with respect and dignity they deserve. And how do you deal with a difficult patient? When I deal with a difficult patient, uh, firstly I need to use my communication skills, being a good listener, so that I can pay attention to their needs. At the same time, I will maintain their privacy and independence. If they are not willing to talk, I would respect their privacy and let them know I am available to them when they need and I will always check on them. Also for providing better care, I would seek support from supervisor and nurse. During this process, I must stay calm and positive and should try more to make them feel comfortable with me. And how do you approach confidentiality as a care worker? Well, I would maintain confidentiality for my patients as a care assistant. By never disclosing my patients' medical information to anyone and creating a trusting environment uh, for my patients so they feel comfortable sharing sensitive information with me. This would help me to develop a strong trusting relationship with my patients. As a result, I would be able to provide the right level of care for them. So we have come to the end of the interview. So my last question is, what do you know about safeguarding policies? Well, uh, by safeguarding policies, I understand that protecting my clients and ensuring they remain out of harm as the safety and well-being of my clients is my first priority. If I find any suspicious thing, I would immediately report the issue to the appropriate member of staff and follow the company's client protection policy. Okay, thank you. So, do you have any questions? No, thank you. Okay, so we'll send you the outcome of this interview in two days. So, thank you. Bye.